welcome back. In the previous part, we picked up ourselves Bell from the DLC. Raz Bell, in fact. Raz Bell. Da, 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 da. Where do you I love wish her to music. Go? This is a dimensional gate. Please select your desired destination. But the plan is very much that we get on with the story for about half an hour, and then we look at maybe getting someone else. Like, I'll pick it at random. I think that's what I'll do. It's like, I don't want to go see which, like, character is going to do what. It's like, I wanted to get Raspberry because out of probably all the characters across Disgaea, Raspberry is probably my favorite. Probably my favorite. So it's sort of like, well, I have to. I have to go get Raspberry. So let's get on with a pretty world. A land of prinnies ravaged by the god of destruction. What demons remain have gone mad? Ooh. Outset Wasteland. Yes. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> whoa, whoa! Hey, can you lend me a hand, dude? No problem, Dad. Not on your life. Y you didn't even hesitate, dude! Can't you at least hear me out first? What an annoying penguin. I don't give a crap about your problems. I'm not a penguin! I'm a primmy, dude! Yeah, dude. Allow us to explain. Uh, Prinnies are the peons of the Neverworld. Each of them, like his, it's just his eyes change. Each of them contains the soul of a sinful human. Together, Prinnies and zombies form the bottom rung of the Neverworld. So, what's a Prinny want from me? Hmm, I guess it has something to do with all the demons that started rioting when the God of Destruction showed up. Th that's absolutely right, dude. Same as always. Same as always? Uh, who exactly are you guys, dude? These guys. These guys. Right. Witnessing the God of Destruction's immense power drove these demons mad. Here we go again. I don't care who they are. If they stand in our way, I'll kill him! It's like how utterly predictable. Ah, one moment, Zed. Out of curiosity, do you happen to have a plan by any chance? Nope, I'm just gonna send anyone that gets in my way flying. That's all the plan I need. I thought so. In that case, you'll end up being torn apart limb by limb, like always. Eh, whatever. I'm a zombie. It's not like I'm not used to it. Enough with the tough act, Zed. In order to achieve victory, you must coordinate with your allies. Coordinate with my allies? Them. Yes, having allies will allow you to pull off team attacks and combos. Whenever you want, increasing your tactical options. Hmm. Huh. Team attacks and combos, huh? Learn about team attacks and combos? Oh, uh, what the hell are those? Again, when we were going through the demo, just, like, more hitting. But, maybe people, we want to see how the game works. So, what the hell are those? You've forgotten those as well. Fine, I'll explain. First, move the cursor and select the base panel. The shiny thing. 24 hour workout. After doing so, you'll see a list of deployable units. Who will you send out? Ah, uh, me, duh. Looks like it's finally time! Tutorial, team attacks and combos. Now here's the important part. Deploy some other allies beside yourself. Be -be -de -be -de. It's really later. Blame. Now take your time, tutorial. Now come on. If you execute an attack while an ally is within two panels of the attacking unit, you can pull off a team attack. Other allies will still be able to move, so you should choose execute instead of end turn. Yeah, I should do that more often. That's that's a problem I've had in previous disguise. I ended up using 
just enter and being like, we're done! Like, no, 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 I should do execute first, regardless. Because things could dynamically change. Huh. So we're gonna gang up on them and beat them up to a pulp? That's not a bad idea. Such is the essence of team attacks. Up to ten units can attack at once. The more units attacking, the higher the damage count. This isn't limited to just normal attacks, either. This can happen with special skills, too. Increases the damage just the same. That's still the tutorial right now. It's like, like using end turn and stuff. I could potentially do stuff like that. Potentially. It's magic! Like I'll, I'll live a little play around when I get the chance and I'll show you what I mean. Where it's like execute is probably a better idea if I want to maximize damage. Take your time. This is the end. Weak. I get it now. You're saying that it'll hit harder than just on your own, right? Precisely. Also, you said her, not right. Now let's try out combos. Do, 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 do. It does some stages just way too quickly in this tutorial aspect. This is why surrounding an enemy can be a good idea. But again, if it's a 5-5-5 five, 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 five grid enemy, that could be a bad idea because you can get picked off quite easily. It's, 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 got, an, it's got an inherent risk, that's, that's the issue. Again, takes its time in the tutorial, doesn't it? Like, come on! Hey, you can do that quicker. Although I'm supposed, I suppose at, at, at this point I've played at least played five disguises. That this is the six. So if I've played all the others, then yeah. Let's go. Yeah. I've got a bit of experience with them. As you can see, attacking a particular enemy unit consecutively will trigger a combo. Its power will increase with the number of hits. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I can't do that alone. Now to finish things off. Try putting all three of these together. Special skills, team attacks, and combos. I was gonna say, it's still the tutorial. I was like, I wanna go now! I'd put the special skill last for Zed, to be honest. Because it would build up in damage. But that's just me. That's just me. Well, I assume it builds up in damage, though. That could have changed in Disguise 6. One thing that's definitely changed in Disguise 6, though, is, like, we've actually got 3D model sprites. The enemies and the characters. It's... it's Honestly, the best thing about it is, like... It's not really noticeable to me. Which is a good sign. Which means they've translated the 2D sprites and stuff into 3D models very well. Very well. Huh. I'm ready to get started. Hmm, very well then. It's time to select Execute. Hurry up! I'll put you in the throat! Yeah! Out of my yeah. way! I'll finish this quick! What's my name? I don't see any, like, combo marker in here. Oh, there we go, the combo there. Like, yeah, 1.2, it's like up to 1.3. That's why I wanted to put Zed last if I was going to do it, because he's the hardest hitter. So that would make sense. Once all the allies have moved, press the triangle button and select End Turn. By putting what I've taught you to use, you'll deal out damage more efficiently, paving yourself a shortcut to victory. Alright, I'll use this team attack and combo stuff to beat down everyone in my way. We'll see about that. Right, so what did I want to show you? It's sort of like... I'm trying to remember what I wanted to show. Just the the idea of like um Is that all? if I put them next to each other here. Let's actually get a raspberry out now. Let's do this. So if I do as they said, 
Let's say you get Joanna out there. Like this. But you can sort of use things together, so I do that. So execute. My turn. Well, that might push him back. Oh, we died. That ruins what I was going to show you, but yeah, say, say I did an attack and like, th these three joined in. I then could... Although I haven't got the option at the moment. Hmm. What I would do is then potentially pick up Zed and throw him somewhere else. And then get another character in over here. That kind of thing, and I've got another chance of doing it again. Another character can attack with these three around. Or, I could just simply, you know, move like these two characters over to here. Try and get it from a different angle, stuff like that. There's, there's the potential there, but I haven't got throw, so I can't really mess around too much. Let's get Jake out. Let's get some of the hollow lives out as well. Because we may as well. They've definitely got recordings from the actual people, because the audio quality is slightly different here and there. Just slightly. Just slightly. It's nice for the people who like the hollow live stuff. It's like, yeah, that's, that's, that's a nice little thing you can have around, isn't it? But for me, I don't, I don't really watch any v VTubers. I haven't really got time. Well, that's a counter. But for now, while we're going through the tutorial, we may as well use a few of them. We may as well use a few of them. I can't see a problem with that. So let's actually see about moving. Pol Pol, is that how you say her name? Pol Pol. Let's move her down here and get an attack going in. Uh, she's surrounded on all sides by people, so let's execute. That's nice, that's nice. So let's get Jake surrounded as well. Let's bring up Zed here. And then Jake can do an attack as well. Don't need anything special. There we go. Lots of level uppers because we've got all those tickets and things. Daring Defender. Prize for the character who took out the most units. You got the medal there. A the medal there for what to me? Prize for the character who dealt the single highest number of damage. <laughs> Everyone who tries to stand in my way is gonna get beaten to a pulp! Y you're so strong! The zombies aren't supposed to be this powerful, dude! Well, he's had a bit of experience. <laughs> What's the big deal? After all, compared to the God of Destruction, these guys are garbage. Um, you're falling apart at the seams. Are you sure you're okay, dude? Huh? Ah, don't sweat the small stuff. You definitely aren't normal, dude. Is anyone normal? Is anyone? Especially in this guy. A word, Zed. The Netherworld Hospital is now available for use. I'll be upfront about this. In no way is any manner of medical treatment or care handled here. It's not? Then how kind of hospital is it supposed to be, then? Well, that's for you to find out. <laughs> So let's see about, actually, like, character-wise, like, I don't necessarily want to get rid of, like, is there any way to put them into, um, like, a storage group? Like, can I just... Put them over there, so, like, these are my on a side, but it's like... Might be the way of doing it. So let's bring them out of there, so... Let's switch them into group... Two? So group, group one, I want to be my normal group, right? Like, uh, It's like, where am I in all this, um... Sort. Not, not that yet, not that yet. There's gotta be a way. Like, auto battle, set auto battle group. Don't want to do that. Switch groups. Okay, so let's put Zed, Roman, Jake, Joanna, Raspel in there. And let's put boom, 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 boom. So 
group one. How do I get them out of group one now? That's the question. Switch list. There we go. So, um, undo, 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 undo. So we got a group one. So we got the Hollow Live characters separate there. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Right. So you seem to know. Secret of Truth. Mm. Oh, here to claim your prizes? Welcome to the Neverworld Hospital. Don't let the name fool you, though. We don't do much treatment here. Don't forget more as a prize exchange where you can earn amazing rewards for how much HP and SP you exhaust in battle. Why do you get prizes for that, you ask? Well, this is the Nether mode. Use your imagination. And um, claim prize. Nah. Not really anything to here. Plenty of prizes waiting. Not really anything. Right, so let's head on out once again then. Follow me, please. This is the dimensional gate. Please take your desired destination. Any world, Wasteland Cliff. Hmm. And the way those enemies are positioned, I'd say it's time to lift and throw. Huh? What's that? That's what I wanted. Don't tell me you've forgotten that as well. It's in the name, Zed. No idea what that is. You know, on this one, I feel like we don't need to do the tutorial. Because I can literally show you the mechanics of lift and throw. That's what I plan to do, like, that. in this one. It's very intuitive. It's like, it's fine, I remember. It's fine, I remember it. Probably. I see. In that case, I'll just leave the rest to use it. Like this one is just it's it's so see yeah that worked out well because you got now um a characters how I want them so move over to a block like nearby lift the block want that block because it's the one on top and you go down to throw in the options throw it there boom right but you need another block there so let's actually move you over here lift up the box throw it over there. Now we've formed some stairs that we can actually get up. So we can go up one block at a time. I think there's some characters later on that can go up two blocks and stuff. They could jump higher. I think there's a stat somewhere that shows you their jump. Not sure which stat it is. It's somewhere. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is. Anyway. So let's actually start getting some other characters moving on up. But something you can do is actually... Lift and throw with characters as well. Huh. Now it depends here whether or not. Hmm. Because huh. there was a mechanic in previous disguise based on like certain characters. Whether or not like you could pick them up or throw them and stuff like that. I don't think that exists here. But it looks like we've actually got some options here. So if I press L2, L2 goes back there. Because it says at the bottom. Like the R2 special skill L2 throw. But there's a square next to it as well. It's like... Ah, so if I press R2 and square, it goes straight into the throw menu. I think it's wise for me to still go through the menu, though. Still feel that's wise. But... Can I... Oh, I need to go a bit further. Can I actually lift up Z here and throw onto that? No, I can't seem to stack them. Okay. Well, we can get Zed a bit closer, at least. And now we can throw you up here. And none of those will do anything, so let's actually... Can I attack the box? I can attack the box. Cool. Because let's attack the chest, we'll get an item. So, execute. Alright. And something else we can also do is we can throw the enemies onto the enemies and it levels them up, which is good in terms of, like, leveling yes. up your characters because you get more XP from a higher level enemy. As you'd expect. Now, can I go onto... Yes, I can go straight onto Beryl and then Beryl can throw. And that does use up her turn, though. It does use up her turn. So how far can I walk? I can walk there. And I can get there. Hmm. Gonna <laughs> pick up yeah! Beryl. And just throw her 
Hmm. That. I'm also gonna lift. Jake. Wait, can I lift now? I lift you, yeah. So we can can do sort of like little towers here. So we lift you over here. Can I attack as the tower? Like the two of them. Will the tower attack? Although she's had her turn, so it's sort of like... I am curious. So it's sort of like a case of... I'm going to wait on this because I'm just too curious. So Sanctuary. Magic shield that protects. Reduces damage. Doesn't affect the user. Let's put it on you two. Execute. So I'm pretty much using the tutorial levels to try slightly more advanced stuff. Yes! Yes! As I expected. It should be okay though. Yeah, there's definitely something going on there with Beryl as well. Right, so. I can move up onto you. So I want to see how. Oh, we could potentially make this. So now if we attack, will that work out? So, execute. It's like they're stood next to each other. It doesn't seem to be like a tower attack. That was definitely something in the past, but I'm wondering if it's even in this... We, we, we shall see, we shall see. Some good leveling up there. They are getting the levels very fast, which I'm very happy with. Damage dealer prize for the character who dealt the single highest number of damage. A support line prize for the character who supported with skills the most. And Joanna, prize for the character who threw the most. <laughs> I'll kill anyone who gets in my way! I'm starting to get the feeling that Zed might be far more dangerous than the God of Destruction, dude. And if you're worried about the levels, don't. This is Disgaea. Levels don't mean too much. It's more about gear and leveling up gear. Like, levels are not really that big of an issue. They'll probably help me get further along at the start, but once we get towards the later parts of the game, levels don't really mean anything. I mean, you can be a level one and destroy stuff just based on gear. It's about gear. It may surprise you, seeing as how that brat is on a murderous rampage, but... He used to be a weak, kind-hearted zombie. Seriously? I find that hard to believe, dude! It's true. However, after endless battles of extreme proportions, Zed's heart has changed. A word, Zed. The Darkest Assembly is now available for use. And the Dark Assembly is... a process by which dreams are legislated into being. The desire for more allies, for instance, can be granted by selecting the Create New Character proposal. Feel free to make as many as you please. We can never be too strong in battle. After all... More allies, eh? Never even needed one, but against the God of Destruction, I'll take whatever help I can get. Alright then, let's go give this Dark Assembly thing a try. Create New Character has been added to the list of builds at the Dark Assembly. Let's give it a go. Welcome. Always an honor to have you. This is the Dark Assembly, a chamber in which dreams become legislation. One could say that mastery of the parliamentary process is key to becoming a full-fledged demon. However, whether or not a proposal will pass depends entirely on the whims of the senators. But in the end, demons are still demons. A few bribes to the right senators should grease the vote a bit in your favor. With that, the Dark Assembly is now in session. Why not expand your criteria with the new Create Character? Yep. I was fine with the criteria, but no, Create New Character, that threw me. Build to start. Dear, oh dear. Call Assembly. Alright, so let's call Assembly with Zed then. Simply let's Create New Character, Delete Character, Change Colors, Better Items at the Store. We do have the mana for it. Change to change controllable character. Mm, triple XP. Next map. Only the next map. Praise my performance. Double MVP awarded on next map. Hmm. See, this is the thing. Like, you can even do stuff like this. Triple XP earned by units below level 10 on the next map. You can 
Ooh. You can, you can level up characters extremely fast. So it's like, again, the fact we're getting levels now, ignore it. It doesn't mean anything. Again, just, it makes it a little tiny bit easier at the start. But it, it will not last. It will not last. That's a good one, though. Start the bonus gauge at level 3. Hmm. Increase the bonuses by, 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 the rank by 2. Make everyone friends for a day. Set the team attack rate for allies to 100% on the next map. Oh! I'll all mana. No. I need more war funds. No. Want to use demonic intelligence? Wait, is that just like a, like, PlayStation trophy? That would be interesting if it's that. Unlock the four times setting for effect and event speed. Oh! That might be good later as well. I want to use demonic intelligence. Speed time with a mech girl. Spend time with a mecha girl. Get targeted by a gunner. How to... Why? They build better relations, but it's just interesting. But anyway, new character. Uh, I still want to get the right one so we can actually get the usual, um... One that we actually get. I'm still waiting on the actual job character thing that I want. So I can actually get eyebrow fetish, because I remember the name now for... The ongoing joke that we have across Disgaea, so I was like, I want to make sure I get the right character for that. But let's have a look at the different names now. William, Hidden Powers. We got Hidden Powers very quickly again, didn't we? Mark, Manifest Manifold, Dwight Schrute, Jose, Anthony, Skuberosco, Red Light Life, Quarry, All Shoulders, Ian, Funny Bingo Guy, Space Bird, Sunrise Sushi, FX Millionaire, Randall, Ed, the Squirt, Netherworld Stain, Julius, Worldwise, Carlos, Sorry, Ralph, Mitsu, Wambulance. Oh, I'm going with Wambulance. I'm having that one. I'm having it. That Wambulance is a go. That is a go. Um, let's check. Take you up to that. Let's increase your attack. I'm going to increase your level, but I'm going to actually start you at one, considering everything else going on. I will go the Chinese food fan fury fatalist. Yes. Zen Zen noodles. Was it I, 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 like Zen Zen noodles? I'm not entirely sure on that. Finished with your business? Yes, I am quite. I am. I am. I am. You see, some of the characters are actually around here as well. That's cool. Well, which one of you honor students? Our princess keeps a taking pictures of us together and throwing them up on the demogram. Demogram. Dem demogram. It'd be demogram, wouldn't it? Does she think I'm a cat or something? Oh dear. Let's see if we can actually increase can the cheat shop. the netherworld here. Is there anything more we can do here? No on the stuff. I'm actually going to bring that down just to, just to give us a bit more XP. Again, just like... Please, XP doesn't again. matter too much, but if we can just get like a nice little lead, it makes things easier. It makes the grind easier later on as well in terms of like getting the gear up. Because I can go against higher level enemies and survive. So getting the gear up would be quicker. That's the plan anyway. But I'm thinking we start the DLC character one now. But again, I don't want to see who we're going to get. This dimensional gate, please select your desired location. So DLC character. Dimen was it? Dimensional signpost? Mm. Culinary overlord. The Danehi cook explodes for some reason, and thus, Zed is dead. Zed adds ingredients and seasoning with no discernible pattern or reason. Countless meals and innumerable ingredients have been reduced to nothingness by his lack of skill. None can digest Zed's cooking. Nothing exists that he would not throw in. However, Zed does not yet know that his cooking has already defeated him. Huh? Huh? Am I dreaming? Uh, for a minute there, I thought my cooking exploded and caused me to super reincarnate or something. But I mean, there's no way that could ever happen. No matter how bad I am at cooking, it can't kill me. Well... Aha, uh -huh, you died from cooking. Care to explain that to me in more detail? Huh? Who the hell are you? How'd you get so close to me without me noticing? I'm sorry. I guess I instinctively hid my presence, being a martial artist and all. The name is Killia. 
I'm looking for the legendary wildflower. Eat it and you die. Eat it and you die. Yep. Which is said to grow in this netherworld. Killia! Classification Wanderer. A young man who once lived for vengeance. Now he lives for cooking. What's your name? Zed. I see. Alright, Zed. Eat it and you die is said to be a unique skull-shaped flower. Have you seen anything like that nearby? Skull-shaped flower? Yeah, I saw it in a different world. I picked it since it looked pretty rare. But I don't know if you can find them here or not. I mean, I just reincarnated into this world a few moments ago. I see. How unfortunate. I heard that when you used an herb... Yep. And the dish becomes so tasty it can kill you. But it's really hard to find them. As a practitioner of the culinary arts, I feel like I need to sample an eat it and you die dish. Yeah, that's so. Getting all worked up over a single ingredient sounds like a waste of time to me. A single ingredient can completely change the very soul of a meal. You slack off with the ingredients, you waste the meal. Should I manage to find some eat it and you die, I'll make a dish with it for you as well. I'm sure it'll help improve your complexion. This is what I normally look like. I'm not sick or anything, damn it. Anyway, what you said about dying while cooking. That's just because I suck at cooking. My dinner exploded the moment I ate it. Exploded? How in the world did you make that happen? Never mind that. Hey, Killia. It's no use trying to hide it. You're pretty confident in your skills, right? Hmm? Oh, I, I don't mean to brag, but I have mastered over 9,999 recipes. Uh, I ain't talking about your cooking. Wasn't it obvious that I was talking about your fighting skills? Don't you think a fight be more fun than flower hunting? Sent some strange power inside you. Come on, fight me, Killia. No. No hesitation? But, hey, that's my thing. Don't do my thing to me. Do your thing. I'm not trying to copy you, I just don't feel like fighting. Besides, I can easily see how strong you are. You've been in countless battles, haven't you? Damn straight. I fought tons of strong guys like you. But it ain't enough. Still gotta get even stronger. I need to fight and beat more worthy opponents. It's like looking into a mirror at my past self. Huh? How are you talking about? Nothing. Don't worry about it. I understood your situation. However, as I thought, I can't fight you. Or rather, maybe I can't fight because it's you. Because it's me? Stop dodging this fight by saying random crap. That's not what I'm doing. There was a time when I too believed strength was all that mattered and I used my fist to destroy. But thanks to discovering cooking, I opened my fists and used them to grasp cooking utensils to create. Let me teach you how to cook. It'll give you more emotional depth. Emotional depth? I don't need crap like that. Besides, with these rotten hands, the best I can hope for is to cook exploding trash. Don't point into my business, damn it. But it's my duty to butt in. In the past, I lost someone who was precious to me because I only sought to get stronger. I'd allow you to bear the same sorrow that I went through. If you like it or not, I will teach you how to cook. Too damn late. Here we go. Well, if you want to fight now, then perfect. If you want me to learn how to cook so badly, then come out with all you've got. I'm gonna cook you up Physically. Wait. You do know that cooking is a physical process, right? Unless it's the imaginary miso soup made by that crepler. Gah. Stop picking apart random things that I say in the spur of the moment, damn it. Sorry. It's just I couldn't take the chance that you might really not know that cooking is done physically, so I, uh... I'll crush you! Stop talking about cooking. All right, fine. I'm just gonna say that I'll crush you. You happy now? To protect those precious to me! Bring it on. 
Just as I learned in the past, I'll teach you a lesson. Get right. in my way and I'll send you packet. Let's see about moving up. Let's go! Rest barrel, and then we can actually lift you. Throw you over there. What else could we get out Roman? Actually, let's put, let's put you back. Eh. Move up, Jake. It's magic. I still move you up, but it's sort of like I can oh, already go here eh. and get thrown next eh. to you. Hmm. Yeah. I can throw you yeah. there, so we get a good surrounding there. Right, so let's attack here. I'll finish this quick. Follow my lead. Much stronger than Raspberry. She's 126, so it's like, ooh. This could be dangerous. This could be dangerous. We can't get a boulder crush. We can't do attacks diagonally. So like, I'm gonna go defend here and end turn. Here goes. Tear through. Dragon sword. Shatter. Come on. There goes Raspberry. Hurry up. We'll still get him. Man. We'll still get him. Okay, so let's go there. Get you over there. I can still move at this point, which is good. We'll get you into position there. And now we'll go special. Boulder Crush. I can't do an attack with her, but it's like, you know, just just in case we actually survive, it'd be nice to get more going on. So, I'm getting a chain going on here with Zed last. We'll see if it works out. End turn, because there is no one else, so... I should probably still execute just this quick. just for safety's yeah. sake in future. Like get in the habit of it, that sort of thing. Let's go. My turn. Good, we got him on a counter counter. Is it just, just two mana? Alright, poor Raspberry. Still leveled up though, Raspberry leveled up, we need to get some healing. Damage dealer, throwing fiend, and daring defeat. Your strength is quite impressive. Looks like I lost. Tch, you can drop the act, I know you've still got plenty of fight left. You can tell, huh? How could I not? You didn't put any anger behind your fists. If you took this seriously, you might have been able to force me to learn something. Why'd you hold back? At first, I really did intend to fix that attitude of yours. But from your fists, I felt the exact same emotion I had experienced. The sorrow of losing someone precious to you. So I couldn't help but ease up on you. Seems you're even more like me than I thought. I'm like you? No. You lost someone too. Yeah, a long time ago, I lost a precious family member. After that, I constantly sought to get stronger, just like you are right now. I lived only for vengeance. Losing someone brought such sorrow. I didn't want a family. Being alone was better. With thoughts like that, I wandered alone. Triple dot. However... Over time, I made a bunch of allies, and I finally managed to accept my own weakness. In time, I'm sure your sorrow will heal too. I truly hope you give up on blindly seeking more strength. But I'm sure it won't be easy for you to do that immediately. Hm. At least you understand that. No matter what you say, I ain't gonna change. Until I accomplish my goal, I'm gonna keep getting stronger. But well, if you really want to teach me that badly... I guess I could learn to cook. What's with the sudden change of tune? Shut up! 
I just felt that knowing how to cook might prove useful in a fight, somehow. I mean, the reason I died last time was because the meal I made exploded. I see. That's quite a deep-seated problem. Sounds like it'll be worth teaching. All right, let's try a simple recipe that beginners like you can learn right away. The Neverworld Cooking Network presents... I'm your host and chef, Killia. And I'm his whimsical assistant, Usalia. Plip. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Today we're making a zombie hot pot supreme. It's a splendid dish that even kids who hate zombie broth will love. Sounds delicious, huh? Well then, let's begin by preparing our zombie plip. Once that's done, toss the zombie into the pot and stew it with nice vegetables. It's super easy, Plip. What about this dish makes it supreme? The supreme part is forcing your household printy to stir it non-stop for a good 30 hours straight. That cuts down your effort while giving the vegetables time to seep their flavor into the broth, masking the flavor of the zombie. And it runs down the printy just enough to ensure a good night's sleep, Plip. Great! If your household doesn't have a prinny, stirring it for 30 minutes is enough to still make a great dish. Uh, but, but then it won't be the supreme version, Plip. All's fine as long as it tastes delicious. Should you happen to get your hands on a fresh zombie, I hope you'll give the zombie hot pot supreme a try. Don't forget to like, follow and subscribe, Plip. Okay, see you all next time. Netherworld Cooking Network, Pink. Produced by... N1S. This channel is completely fictitious. Any resemblance to any actual Killias or Usalias is purely coincidental. And a touch of magma, and that completes the zombie hot pot supreme. It's quite delicious. The hell was that weird cooking show? It was the rabbit girl. Don't worry about it. Anyway, give it a try. Uh, okay, sure. <laughs> It's delicious. The flavor of the meat and vegetables is thoroughly condensed into a thick, cottage style magma soup. The texture of the mushrooms is an excellent accent. And even though it's rich, it's got a well-balanced aftertaste. I need more. This rotten tongue of mine is jumping in delight. Can't remember the last time my taste buds have functioned properly. Really? Suspected stronger flavors would better suit your palate. Seems I was right. All of the ingredients are cheap, and you just need to stew them. No matter how bad at cooking you are, you can cook this recipe. I just need to stew it, huh? Why is it that my cooking explodes, but you do something simple and it tastes delicious? Man, I don't understand cooking at all. Cooking is similar to combat. You can't rely on instincts alone to get the best results. What's most important is your heart. Control your anxiety. Move deliberately and pour your soul into it for others. Cooking is, in essence, a fight against oneself. So what you're saying is that if you get good at cooking, you'll be good at fighting? I suppose that's one way of putting it, yes. <laughs> Fine, bring it on. I'll get so good at cooking that I'll even be better than you, Killia. I mean, I've got this herb I found while super reincarnating. I learn how to cook properly. I ain't gonna lose to anyone. Zed, that skull-shaped flower, is it? I'm pretty sure it's that e and you die thing you were talking about earlier. Smelled good, so kept it in storage. Hmm, let's try tossing it in the hot pot. So, what do you think it tastes like? <laughs> and he's dead again. Your meal exploded. Oh, I see now. Eat it and you die. Eat it. And you die. Instead of killing you with deliciousness, it just makes the meal explode. It's safe to say that the meal that exploded and killed you earlier also had one in it. I guess the next lesson should be don't carelessly toss in every ingredient that looks tasty. I almost died again, damn it! Alright. To hell with all this hot crap. I'm never gonna cook again. Well, we tried. I'm fairly certain that exploding meal was just you getting what you deserved. Just like the me I used to be. 
Seems like it'll take some time to properly prepare this ingredient. Killia joins Zed and his allies. Cool. So we got Killia in the group. Right, so let's end this part here, and in the next part, same again, we'll carry on and then get another DLC character. Ta-da for now!